Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at HIMSS 2024 in Orlando, Florida, and we are here with Vidur and Suyash of AI platform company Carpal AI. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Brian. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So uh, we're here at HIMSS, uh, first day of the meeting, and uh, Vidur, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Carpal? I know that we talked at uh, RSNA recently, but uh, can you tell us a little bit about Carpal and what you do? No, essentially Carpal, Brian, is a enterprise imaging AI platform that provides 110 plus AI applications from third party developers, 45 plus AI developers, as a single user interface, a single data integration, and a single procurement channel into healthcare providers. So the idea is to allow radiologists uh, and innovators and researchers the ability to leverage the encapsulated value of the entire AI ecosystem that exists out there through this single aggregation platform that is Carpal. Uh, to increase their productivity as they go about. So there, there's tons of AI algorithms out there. The idea with Carpal is you, you don't have to go out and do a deal with every single one. You can just you just got have one source for all of that. Absolutely. We're an AI marketplace, to put it very you know bluntly, uh, but with a very heavy emphasis on validation and monitoring of AI. You know you only get one shot at deploying AI, and you can only, you can do it right, and that's how we're driving adoption. Perfect. Now we did talk at uh, RSNA, what's been happening at Carpal since then? So at RSNA, Brian, very honestly we realized that while the tech is there, the apps are there, the integrations are there, what was missing was ROI, right? If I pay a dollar for AI, how many dollars do I either save or make, was a question that was very difficult to answer. We've spent the last three months building out a platform ROI thesis where essentially rather than deploying individual AI applications and getting incremental benefit from a financial perspective, you deploy a platform approach. So you get five, seven, 10 different AI systems, deploy them simultaneously, and all of those incremental gains come together to make exponential. So, and that's been a big issue with AI just recently because everybody, they're, they're questioning, you know, we have all these algorithms and we've done these clinical studies that show that, that maybe radiologist performance is better a little bit or, or a lot, but what's, what's the return on investment? So Yash, what, what have kind of uh, analysis have you guys done to prove that? So as Vidur mentioned, the platform ROI approach that we're building out at this point in our thesis is using extensively what is the COF framework, which is the clinical, operational, and financial framework. We're using different metrics in all three different categories here. So from a clinical perspective, what would be the return in terms of are we able to pick up more findings? Are there lesser missed findings that are happening now? Is there an advantage when we're trying to do a retrospective quality audit? What kind of patient outcomes are being benefited there? From an operational perspective, how many hours of the radiologist are we able to save? What is the productivity gain in that sense? From a patient perspective, is there an improvement in the TAT for a discharge or in the ER? And again, all of this very much linked with each other translates into a financial outcome about whether there's a saving or whether there are additional revenue options as well from imaging opportunities, opportunistic screenings, and so on. So the approach has been to, to justify the platform value not just from one AI application, but what if you were to go enterprise-wide using multiple different AI applications at the same time. And, yeah, sir, no. and, and how are you going to be sharing that data with your customers and your users? So depending upon what kind of a client arrangement we have, we're planning out either a monthly or a quarterly analysis of where we are on the ROI track of meeting set expectations that we are able to achieve in that order. And we're seeing if there is an imaging setup or a hospital setup which has a rough 50-50% split between an inpatient and outpatient imaging. Uh, if you're using close to five to seven different AI applications across different modalities and clinical use cases, there is at least a 5x ROI return that is very much possible with, an, uh, with a platform approach. That's really significant. Now, now, Vidur, can you talk a little bit about what Carpal's planning to do in the U.S. market? So U.S., are, our plans are, uh, there are two types of customers that, that we can benefit. Uh, there's the academic medical centers, you know, those that are sold on the idea of AI, those that, uh, but find it very difficult to navigate this ecosystem. You know, there's 
10 different chest x-ray vendors, which one do I work with? There's, you know, five different head CT vendors. So they uh, are kind of a sweet spot for us because not only do we help them derive, you know, the ROI that was mentioned, we also enable a lot of research uh, and just pure play academic outcomes uh, through our platform. The other side are large uh, radiology providers, you know, either physician groups or imaging centers uh, that may not be that much uh, sold on the idea of academic research, but whose, whose core metric is financial return. So, so these are, you know, two opposite ends of the spectrum that we're trying to target uh, simultaneously. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll rely, rely on partnerships such as ours to, to get the word across. Right. Very good. Anything else we can expect from Carpal in 2024? 2024 is all about healthcare providers for us. Uh, we have the AI ecosystem in place. We've got great partnerships that evolves continuously. If there's a new AI company out there, we, we never say no. We bring everybody onto our platform. We believe in democratization of the delivery of AI. But 2024 specifically is going after the academic medical centers, the radiology groups, uh, running pilots, running um, these ROI studies, and essentially, you know, going gung ho, proving that, you know, well, AI may, is truly making us faster, cheaper, better. All right, very good. So, Yash and Vidur from Carpal AI, thanks for being with us. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Signing off from HIMSS 2024, my name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. <laughs>